Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks, bringing you the daily Tesla report for Friday, April 19th, 2024. Let's take a look at the charts. Big day today, um, and I'm anticipating a clear sell signal officially. I mean, we've had it kind of going all week long, the last three or four trading days, uh, when we, uh, you know, settled, actually gapped below, as I recall, uh, the channel bottom that is on the daily chart at 158.70. There's a lot going on here with this chart, but this is the long-term channel bottom, uh, 158.70. And uh, on the weekly chart, we have the same, really the same structure at 158.42. So the 158 handle is your ceiling of resistance. And in terms of presenting a rejection of a sell signal, in terms of presenting a follow-through buying uh, over the next uh, few weeks anyway, that would come with a settlement today above 160.51. Are we going to get a 10, 12 point rally today? I don't think it's likely. I think the emphasis remains uh, on the downside. Tesla remains on its heels, expecting the 137.81 trend line over the next few weeks or sooner. 101.81, January 23 low over the next several months. And I've been saying that now for the last few days, and it is quote unquote official if we close today below 148.92. You could throw the 1% margin in there if you like. 156.83, that sort of clarifies everything, but I don't think you need that. I think the clarity is merely having closed back below this double bottom from the last month and a half at 160.51 in conjunction with the settlement clearly below the 158.42 formation. Uh, we do remain heavy through the rest of the second quarter, the next two to three months now, expecting 101.81. So if you've been waiting to pull the trigger on acquiring out of the money puts, uh, today could be the day. As the afternoon wears on and we're clearly below the upper 150s resistance, you may consider reaching for 102, 101 strike out of the money puts that don't expire. I would go six months out on that expiration. This is probably a two to three month play or sooner. You could also uh, consider a uh, reaching for 138, 140 strike out of the money puts. If your time horizon is more of the two to three week swing trade variety, we could bounce here for a week or two back into the upper 150s, perhaps. There is also by the way, in the upper 130s, a descending channel bottom on the daily chart, which I'm showing right here, that correlates or corresponds with the highs that were put out in February against the recent high from a couple of weeks ago against an intermediate low in March, 136.18. I don't think we'll see this area today. I mean, preceding it, we have 147.08, and 147.08 it's just a simple trend line off the lows from, um, you know, is this early February, March, the February, March lows, 147.08. Now, what it, this? I wish I could zoom in here, but if I did, you'd miss the context of 152.37. That was a pullback low. I could take you back, you know, to the weekly chart just to show you that is your 152.37 level. That was a significant pullback that held, and then we rallied. And so if I take you back, you know, to this chart, 152.37, a level that we actually gapped below on Thursday and continued weakening as the day progressed, uh, 152.37 is still an intraday resistance level, below which 147.80 is likely. I'm talking to day traders, of course. Uh, I could zoom in here, but 147.08 can contain session weakness, but that is about it. I don't expect us to bottom out here through next week. I think following the settlement, uh, well, we've already had the settlement, and that occurred actually on Tuesday of this week where we gapped below this channel structure. We've been weak ever since. Uh, cons consistent negative daily settlements following that gap lower on Tuesday. 147.08 can contain session weakness. And if settled below today, and it, we very well may close below 147.08 today, then the upper 130s are likely next week. This is probably a two to three, three to five day uh, event. If we close today below 147.08, which is once again the trend line off the Feb March lows, able to contain session weakness. So this is a solid day trade level, but um, if you're kind of a one to two week swing trader, um, you might be short already, uh, or you could try to get short in the upper 150s. Uh, that opportunity, I think, is passed actually for getting short in the upper 150s because I do think the uh, mid to upper 130s are likely uh, by the end of next week. And you could make that over the next few days if we close today below 147.08. 
at 136.18 to 137.81, uh, we could bottom out on a weekly basis and perhaps turn back up again for several weeks, back into the upper 150s. Uh, this is a possibility. Uh, and, you know, the markets don't typically go straight down unless they go straight down. <laughs> but, you know, there's usually some uh, ebb and flow, give and take. And so we fall into the mid 130s. Bottom out there uh, into into May trade, round back up within two or three weeks into the upper 150s, fall away again, so forth and so on. That's why I call that 101.81 level, you know, a two to three month objective. But the upper mid to upper 130s, respectable support for you one to two, two to three week swing traders. And if we close, of course, below 137.81 in combination, of course, with the settlement below the channel bottom at 136.18, I think within a matter of, well, let's go back to the weekly chart and just take a look at that. With Within a matter of three to five weeks, we could test 101.81. Long-term double bottom at 101.81, um, possible, uh, but you know, I'm not expecting as much. We'll see how how everything plays out at that point in time, uh, and we'll be taking a look at former channel tops coming down, so forth and so on, to give you a real strong sense of what's of what's up. Uh, anyway, I don't expect to see it. I don't even want to waste my air, but you never know if we close back today above 160.51 that completely, that is a significant head fake to the downside that played out for three days, four days this week. If we close back above 160.51, that is a significant reversal. And within two to three weeks, 186.48 would be expected. And I'm going to underline expected because I do think after all of this, with all the shorts that are now in the market, I'm anticipating uh, closing above 160.51 is a meaningful reversal. 170.67, then expected within a two to three, three to five days, 186.48 within two to three weeks before the market can grow toppy again and fall away into later May. But that is a scenario I'm not expecting. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that, I suppose. Please click like, share, subscribe, check out wickedstocks.com. If you're looking for Apple analysis, go to wickedstocks.com. You got a five day free trial. You can at least see what's going on and you'll actually have it through all next week week or most of next week. I'm going to leave it at that. You have a great weekend. I'll be back Sunday afternoon with Monday's Tesla.